Pisma T, dhe se dojë të këson tonë me mënon të rakonë së po kërë dhe ofisë të nësion i një a qënerë. Mësë Jean-Pierre Chalou, prezidentë dhe direktuar dhe përnë po më rritinë dhe nërën së sengë në se. Distingë ambasadër e delegë dhe bënën, Kamerun, Kongo, Djibouti, Gabon, Kini, Senegal e Togo. Distingë e representantë dhe po më mëmbrë dhe vëso për të e të e në të kështë. Mesdames et Messieurs, I'm both very much honored and delighted uh, to be with you today to sign a memorandum of understanding between the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development and the Grand Corps Maritime de Non Saint Nazaire. Improving transport logistics and trade facilitation is a prerequisite for the integration of developing countries into the global economy and helps to boost their export competitiveness. Promoting such integration is one of UNCLAD's main goals, including through our work on transport and trade facilitation, and in particular on ports and shipping. Uh, towards this end, UNCLAD has been assisting its member states in several areas, such as uh, port uh, custom modernization uh, policies and legislation, and human resources development for port communities. Port communities around the world have a vital role to play in attracting trade flows and contributing to the development of their national economies. Not only can they reduce the uh, cost of imports and exports, but efficient and competitive port operations can also encourage increased foreign investment. Improvements to infrastructure and trade transport operations are a significant factor in determining the investment climate perception of a country to foreign investors. Therefore, port communities have a wider role to play than just the facilitation of trade and transport logistics alone. Towards this end, uh, questions concerning efficiency, the increase of port capacity, reductions in vessel turnaround time, value-added <coughs> marine-based services, and uh, maximization of port revenue, all this uh, very much uh, uh, to your knowledge, uh, should be approached as part of a strategic plan drawn up by port managers. And in order to achieve all these goals, uh, and as another strategic component of a port modernization plan, port communities need to ensure that staff are well-trained and highly skilled. Moreover, all port actors from the public and private sectors we have to support such commitment towards continuous learning and training and the sharing of knowledge and good practices between middle and senior levels of management. The Anta Train for Trade port training program, which was established in 1996, has built up four linguistic networks uh, of port communities in Latin America, Africa, and Asia, just as uh, what Ms. Anne Miro just uh, alluded to. The program provides training and capacity building which fosters the sustainable transfer of knowledge over the long term in accordance with local conditions. This support is offered by consultants from developing countries' port themselves and also by key partners from ports whose professional competence and experience are instrumental to our activities. In this context, I would like to thank the Grand Port Maritime de Nong saint nazaire for its commitment to support ANCAT for its Train for Trade port training program. I'm convinced that this relationship will help the Train for Trade program to continue its many activities, including the organization of training workshops, joint technical assistance missions to port communities in Africa, and the development and updating of its training material on modern port management. The fact that beneficiary and partner member ports contribute financially or in kind to this program, and that some ports such as Dhaka, Cotonou, and Douala have been in the program for nearly 10 years, is really indeed a sign that the program offers great value to its member. With more than 500 mid-level executives trained, the port training program has had a major impact on human resource development in member ports. Many graduates of the program have gone on to become local instructors, nurturing a talent pool of local experts 
and allowing the port training program to become truly sustainable. I'm also most encouraged to see the continual expansion of the program, which, for example, now has welcomed two new members in the past two years, namely the port of Djibouti and the Office des Ports et des Rats du Gabon. Additionally, the port autonome of Port Noir is also set to join the network soon. The agreement that we are now signing today with the Bon Port Maritime, the Nord Saint Nazaire, will allow us to reinforce our effort in favor of developing countries' port communities and establish a mutual understanding of our organization's objectives. In closing, let me again thank the Bon Port Maritime, the Nord Saint Nazaire, as well as the government of France for their commitment to supporting ANTAT's port training program. It is a recognition of the importance of human resource training and knowledge building in developing countries and the pivotal role that ports play in the trade competitiveness of countries in the global economy. I wish you all the very best for a most successful and productive partnership for the benefit of developing countries' port communities. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.